Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pinesett, the pre-med productivity expert. It is three in the morning right now. <laughs> uh, I'm here in the hospital and I just was reading uh, one of my favorite authors, Napoleon Hill, and I came across a great quote that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, and the quote is, success requires no apologies, failure permits no alibis. And I'll repeat it again, success requires no apologies, and failure permits no alibis. I love that quote because it really, it puts life in, what is it, eight words or something? It puts life into eight words. And it's simply, success success requires no apologies, right? You don't have to apologize for people for being good at something, for being successful. Because we all know, or we should at least know, that if you're successful at something, it's because you worked hard at it. It's because you put in the time, it's because you dedicated yourself, and then you're good at it. So you don't have to apologize for other people. If they can't step their game up and come with you, then sometimes you gotta kick people to the curb. You know, I see it a lot in pre-med groups where sometimes there's a smart or a smart student in the group who's worked hard and people are envious of that, right? And they say, oh, you're working so hard, you're studying again, you're a gunner, you're this and that. That doesn't make you a gunner. To be serious about your goals, to be honing your craft does not make you a gunner, it makes you a success. It makes you the person who's gonna get into medical school. So don't let other people make you feel bad for doing the things that you need to do to secure your future. Don't be apologizing to people. Do what you need to do, and if they wanna feel bad, they can feel bad. And they can feel bad while they're out of medical school and you can feel good having your medical degree. The second part of that is failure permits no alibis. Right, I say all the time, no excuses, just dominate. Right? When I work with students, sometimes I say I'm too harsh on them because I really don't care about your excuses. Either you succeeded or you failed. And if you failed, I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear you take responsibility. Right? If you fail at something, nobody cares. And I'm getting paged as that happens, right? <laughs> Hold on one second. All right, so that was fun, getting paged in the middle of doing that video. <laughs> Um, everything is okay, the hospital is safe. Back to what we're talking about, <laughs> okay? Failure permits no alibis. This is so important to get through your head. Like I was just saying, you know, there is no excuse. Either you succeed or you fail. And when you fail, you've gotta take personal responsibility and own it, because that's the only way you're gonna get better, is say, you know what, I messed up, I messed up this way, I need to do better here. And that's how you get better. And the ultimate part of that I wanna say to people is, there's nothing worse than failing when you didn't give 100%, right? When you know that you didn't give everything you could and as a result, things didn't turn out the way you want it. And I always think it's so sad that people say, oh, I'm pre-med and you know, their whole life is based around getting to medical school and they suffer and they sacrifice in pre-med, but they fall short because they weren't willing to do the extra things. And I, I constantly am telling students to do other things other than medicine because it is a hard journey. There is no easy shortcut route. And the only way you're gonna get there is if you're willing to do the extra things that other people aren't willing to do. And it really is unfortunate when people get to the end and they apply to medical school and they don't get in, or they get to the point where they're gonna apply and they talk to people and they figure out that they're not a good candidate. And they start to run the, the highlight reel or the low light reel of all the times that could have made the difference in their application. So for example, if someone tells you, you know what, you're not gonna get into medical school because you know your GPA is 3.4 instead of 3.5. Let's just say that artificial cutoff. It's not real, but that people say that. You will then go over your transcript and look at your grades, and you'll find what we all find, that there's a couple classes on there where you didn't do as well as you could have. Right, and in some people's case, you can have a couple of those bad classes because you make it up on the end, but if you string enough of those bad classes together because you have bad habits, so you go out and you party a little bit too much, or you don't take great notes, or any of those things, then you're gonna be kicking yourself, and there is gonna be no alibi, and you're gonna have to go and do one of the toughest things. And this was one of the things that really motivated me to really continue to do what I'm doing to get to medical school, was that I never wanted to go home and have to say, hey, family, hey mom, hey dad, I failed to get to medical school. I didn't, I wasn't willing to put in the time and I didn't do the things necessary so I can't go to medical school. I never wanted to have that conversation. 
And so I worked hard every day to make sure that I was successful. So you need to do the same. And remember that quote, I'm gonna repeat it again, write it down, and beyond that, go read some Napoleon Hill. His books are amazing and will really put everything in perspective and, and really outline how you are successful. But the quote, success requires no apologies, failure permits no alibis, Napoleon Hill. All right, so this is Dr. Andre Pines at The Pre-Med Productivity Expert. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Pre-Med Productivity Expert. Thanks, guys.